thinking? You a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses. And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls him his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Show me what you got. Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Let's not be screwing with me. Hope Snake Eyes on that one, boy. Getting down low! What the fuck you doing, boy? Self to blame. You god damn it. Wait a second to reload. Is 
There's a... Cut your fucking heart out! Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank... Thank... Oh, my God! They... They were going to... Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the pierced heart. Tell me what you got. Lincoln, you were sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn, if that place in the hellhole. Pains you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. Секунду. Так, приветствую всех на трансляции. Как вы видите, мы проходим матч в Definitive Edition. Пытаемся спасти данный урок, как бы, нечисти, можно так сказать.
Так, смотрим. Так, неплохо. Давай двигаем дальше. Так-то лучше. Пол километра, капец. Ладно, хоть так. Где-то в отеле в этом. Давайте припрыгнемся тут. Подходи. Пойдет. Так. Вот так вот тебе. Не, ну сам виноват. А надо с другой стороны зайти. Хватит там вот это делать свои дела. Сейчас посмотрим, куда он подойдет. Отлично. Теперь он на ту сторону. Обидно сюда зайти нельзя. Сейчас мы так вот соберемся. Но я на это надеюсь. Или зря надеюсь. Уже зря надеюсь, ну ладно. А я думаю, можно тут так сделать. По красоте. Тут он, да?
Так-то лучше. Уходите отсюда. Вы свободны. Какие границы? Это все наши границы, как бы. А вы о чем? Кажется странно, но ладно. Ведь мы вроде выполнили это все. Поехали к дому. Ох уж это не дороже. Куда ж ты под колеса прямо? Ничего себе, он оперативно работает. Так, припасы у нас хватает, а улучшения. А, целый кучу денег надо. Посмотрим, что по пистолету.
Понятно, тут тоже целый куча денег надо. Ладно. Поехали отсюда. О, машина заминтирована. Поехали. Триста метров, нормально. Так, заедем через центральный вход. Я думаю, да. Не, мне ничего не надо, спасибо. Так, я думаю, где-то с этой стороны можно войти. Так, ну наверх. Тихо. Спокойся. Ты ничего не видел. Теперь тоже. Как я понял, деньги тут, тут лишними не будет, поэтому собираем. Так, но ну они нас спалили уже, как -то. Возьмем патрон. Вот 
Да, жестко, конечно. Dixie motherfuckers are out of Perlis. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. Yes, we still have this one. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. Oh, there are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. In a few shows. Uncle Billy told me he helped you clean up and... Так, поехали к Донову. Постараемся пройти его квест еще. Молодец. Торможенемся. Спасибо, что пропустили. to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. <laughs> that heroin the Dixie Mafia has been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. Man, to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. <laughs> Ну давайте установим. Exactly over the 
Это все у нас имеется. Поехали. Ну куда ты заворачиваешь? А куда ты стал? Двести шестьдесят метров нормально. А это здесь тонн он отдыхает, понял. Давай побежали. Ну, давайте. Мы валим, валим, валим. Ну, рассказывай, давай. Ваня, давай. Он уже тоже был Проверить патроны, потому что чего чего патроны у нас маловато как-то. Так, полный боезапас и выйдем. Так, вот я возьму, пожалуй. Ты отдыхаешь. Там больше шукаешься. Ты чё? Сори, не сори. Бегите сюда.
sand piece, but a sword! Ну и ладно, понимаю. Такое бывает. Мы нанесли урон. Так, следующее. Поварить за новым. Окей. Так, один еще машину. Дальше. А мы что, на этом приехали? Странно, ну ладно. Мы вроде не на этом ехали. Сойдет. Shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Are they not here for you? Так, бы нам будет. Наверное, вот так вот. Там то еще эта зона не была враждебной. Сейчас бы пистолет сушить его, честно говоря. Вот лестница, вот зачем она нужна? Никого нет. Ну, пойди ко мне. Нам нужно поговорить с тобой. 
Jesus Christ! for me and you might live long enough to raise your family okay sure thing whatever you want that's good charlie real good захваченный есть send your men to the first baptist church those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Please state your name. For the record, Donovan, John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos. I was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Всем спасибо за просмотр, подписывайтесь на канал, ставьте лайк и всем удачи.